this mutation is called bad weather and it is being played on rifts to core hall we have two mutators active we have twister and we have void rifts so let's have a look at the masteries while the players get set up we have zagara who's gone for three points in the zagara energy regeneration seven points into the baneling attack damage and we have the 23 points into the roach damage and three points into the fight frenzy so this is just one of the bugs that blizzard has right now with the zagara mastery so it's a 7 and 23 split over here um, i will update the overlay as soon as blizzard has decided what they want to do with the zagara mastery so once that gets fixed i will update the overlay but as is right now this is the Mastery selection for Zagara. Zeratul has gone for 30 points into the Zeratul attack speed, 12 and 18 points split into the artifact spawn, support cooldown mastery, and 3 points into the Legion cost reduction. Um, here, this is kind of an interesting decision. I normally would recommend going full into the artifact spawn mastery, but prestige selections we have the Apex Predator and we have the Herald Prestige for Zeratul. Now, one thing to note about this play is that the submitter, Son of Sakurai, has said that they wanted to initially do a hero solo. So for the most part, this game will be a one base hero solo, except for the early stage attack wave. They uh, mentioned that it would have been much better if they used spine crawlers to fit more into the line of what a hero solo is all about. But they will be using some of their units to deal with the early siege attack waves and to just stall the void rifts, which is okay. So let us talk a little bit about these mutators. The first one is Twister. Twister will start to spawn these little tornadoes around the map and Our these tornadoes will deal that. damage to your units and they do try and actually hit your units as you get as you get near them. So they do they do have an element of randomness to their Our movement, but they also like to try and target your units as well. You do a good amount of damage, especially if your units are um, unmovable, like your artifact trucks on the Cradle of Death. It means that they don't. I think the artifact truck doesn't get blown away from this and ends up taking a lot of damage from Twister. The other one is Void Rifts, and as you can see, the Void Rifts are causing a little bit of harassment for these players. These players are just waiting for their hero units to come out so that they can go ahead and start sniping out these Void Rifts. So they're just using a few links over here just to try and stall these attack waves and from these from these Void Rifts. And as the mission progresses, these Void Rifts will start to spawn much more deadly units. So right now, they're spawning Zerglings and Zealots, but later on, they'll start spawning all sorts of other nasty stuff like hybrids. So you gotta be a little bit careful of this. But we have Harold and Zag Zag out right now, and these guys are gonna be pushing through. And you gotta go ahead and try and clear up this Our first Void Rift. Is Harold is over here, and he has picked up his first artifact fragment. First of the two artifact fragments here. So I think both these commanders are ready to go. Zagara is already out, and she is going to be deep tunneling across here. One Banley Barrage onto this Void Rift, and this Void Rift has been closed up. There is one more Void Rift here, just right inside the Fog of War, but Zagara should be able to clear that out as well with one more Banley Barrage, and that is the end of that Void Rift. We have the Royal Legion as well that gets used, and now this Royal Legion will be going ahead and just getting a little bit moved out of the way by here. This is exactly what it's talking about. See how this tornado tries to aggro your units? It's very, very intentional here. Zagar so actually gets blown right under the Void Rift that spawned right next to her, so she's gonna get a little bit of extra value as well as another Void Rift right on top of these hero units. So that is actually working pretty well. So, so far, all seems to be okay here. The guy is just gonna auto attack this one Void Rift dead, and that is that Void Rift closed, and the first Void Shard has also been picked up by these two players, and now Zagara is going to start pushing into this next enemy base here. So, we are still, we, Zagara still has the Roach Drop uh, still on cooldown, so she has to rely on her Hunter Killers using some Baneling Barrages right in between the enemy units, getting a little bit of extra value for the Splash Damage, and the Carrier also goes down. Zeratul has also jumped into the fray here using his Tornado abilities to start dealing some more damage to these things. Void Rifts are actually attacking these Hunter Killers, now another Baneling Barrage. So Zagara is basically trying to just snipe out these Photon Cannons over here, uses more Hunter Killers to try and help her deal with this and this is also kind of the reason why going for the Zagara Energy Regeneration Mastery is very useful. It allows you to consistently spam your hunter killers and 
in the regular play, you're probably not going to end up running out of energy in the way you would normally expect. Next set of voiders are out. Zagora instantly deep tunnels across, uses the Hunter Killer instant frenzy, and closes those two void rifts very, very quickly. The first of the two void shards in the second enemy base has been cleared, and Zertul now is going to go and start attacking. And these two tornadoes are actually right on top. Is is Zeratul's tornadoes actually attacking the the, the twister of that? That'll be something interesting to see right here. Zeratul unfortunately does get hit by the Void Shard, but this Royal Legion has pretty much killed off this Void Shard, and Zeratul is going to finish this up right now. I'm kind of curious to know what's happening with these twisters over here. But we have Zagara and Zeratul out already. Zeratul has picked up a second artifact fragment, so this is pretty much going to be it for him. He cannot pick up any more artifact fragments. That is it. He's limited to two. Uses some tornadoes over here and one swipey move. And that is pretty much the attack wave completely cleared. And now the next set of void rifts are out. Zagara is over here to deal with this one. Zeratul is going to go over here and clear this void rift. Zagara is going to turn then south. Clear that Void Rift out, and Zeratul is going to use his Void Seeker to try and snipe out that Void Rift, and that Void Rift also ends up going down. And Zeratul will have to be a little bit careful with how he gets out of the way, because he will get start to get aggroed by the units, but he's just going to be blinking away here. Unfortunately, one of the Tornadoes does get in the way here, and he is able to blink out and save his skin. And now we have Zagar and Zeratul that are ready to push into the third objective area. So. Overall, seems to be okay. Upgrade-wise, we have the two most important upgrades here for Zagar, the Medusa Blades and the Heroic Fortitude upgrades. And do note that the Baneling upgrades that Zagar has does not affect her Baneling Garage, so it doesn't really matter if uh, she gets those Baneling upgrades, and that is why she did not get them. Anyway, we now have some Spine Crawlers, some more Sporo Crawlers out for these Commanders, and this is just to... This is just to deal with some of the random trickle spawns. When you get Void Rift spawning really far back, you know, something is going to spawn from that Void Rift before you kill it. So, you kind of don't want to have your hero units moving back and forth to your base to try and just defend the random one zealot that spawns here. So, we have some static defense here from these commanders. Zagora has used her Roach Drop. She does not really want to get her hands dirty dealing with that Void Rift. So, Zagora has cleared them. That Void Rift over here, and now all we have is this one more Void Rift here, and that Zealot has actually started to aggro Zagara, and has realized what a huge mistake that is. That Bailing moved really, really slowly before it ended up dying, but there we go. So we have a little bit of weakening of this enemy base as well, not really too big of a deal. The Roach Drop was used to try and clear this, and this is exactly what I was talking about. There's some random harass that can get a little bit hairy at some time, and I think when it comes to dealing with the Immortal, I think Zagara has to go back and try and deal with this. We have some more Spore crawlers, some more spine crawlers. But when you have a Marauder here, it's not really too big of a deal. So where is Zeratul going right now? He is parked over here, and he's going to get ready to deal with the next set of Voidrus, but also dealing with this attack wave. The tornado is getting a lot of nice value for Zeratul, and Zeratul has actually cleared out everything except one sentry and one stalker. Actually, changed that to only one sentry. There's one random roach moving around here, so you don't mind me. I'm just going to try and attack this base here. Zagara sitting here and gets wing. Why? Where is Zagara? Why is Zagara not actually dealing with this void roof right now? There's a void roof right outside her base, and now Zagara is out here. Drops a set of hunter killers and a nice bailing barrage there, but I don't think that second immortal got hit by the bailing barrage. And now Zagara is going to be pushing forward here. There are two more void rifts here. So Zagara is going to deep tunnel down, deal with this first void rift with one easy bailing barrage, and Zeratul now is using his Zoraya Legion to clear out this void shard area. And a Roach Drop comes down to close up that void rift and weaken some of these enemy units in this area as well. So we have Zeratul now using his swiping move as well as his Zoraya. The first void shard is going to go down. Cigar does deep tunnel back down here to try and deal with the trickle spawn here. And the next set of void drifts are out as well. So Cigar will have to try and deal with that while Zeratul is clearing out the void shards in the third void shard area. And we will see how Zagar is going to be approaching that right now. We have void suppression crystal as well that has been used. And that pretty much is the entire enemy base gone and cleared. So Zeratul, all he has to do now is just start swiping away 
clearing these things out. So Zogara deep tunnels across, one set of hunter killers here, and Zogara is going to be moving forward now to try and deal with this next void rift. And these hunter killers, I think, might be able to deal with that void rift by themselves. Yep, they're going to clear out that void rift. There are two more void rifts left. I think both of these are in that high ground area, which doesn't really have very much. So I think Zogara can deep tunnel across here and deal with those units as well. And you can see this is why the spine crawlers and spore crawlers kind of help. They do struggle against the immortals. So one bailing barrage over here. Some zealots are trying to stop Zagar from closing up those void rifts, but they stand no chance against Zagar. And those spine crawlers actually are all gonna end up dying. So Zagar was gonna have to join Deep Tunnel Bank, but now we have another void void rifts on the way. And Zagar has the and Zeratul, sorry, has dealt with this attack with some phoenixes that are being a little bit annoying, but those phoenixes will end up going down. Zeratul spawning right next to a void rift, he's gonna end up killing off that void rift here. That attack wave I think consists of like one phoenix, maybe one phoenix, maybe a little bit more, but that is pretty much it. Yeah, a couple of phoenixes here, those things are all gonna end up dying. It does lift up the eggs for some reason, and now that one brother is harassing Zagara a little bit as well. I'd like to see a few more spine crawlers for Zagara. The spine crawlers don't really stand a chance against the immortals, so you need to have quite a few of them so that you can deal with the with the random units here. So you can see here, Zagara is actually pulling a lot of minerals right now. Okay, so do we have a lot of drones here? So I think maybe Zagara is just going to drop like a thousand spine crawlers right now. Because yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Just having a, just a ton of spine crawlers just ready to just deal with the random trickle spawns here. And now Zeratul is pushing into the last enemy base area. And we have is the Royal Legion as well that is used. And this enemy camp is going to end up getting cleared out by Zeratul. The next set of Void Rifts have spawned. One has spawned inside the third enemy base, but that base has been completely cleared. So Zagara is going to be moving forward, uses a Hunter Killer Frenzy, and that first Void Rift is gone, and Zeratul is going to continue pushing into this last enemy base here. So the Hunter Killers are going to clear that second Void Rift out, deep tunnel across here, and one Bailing Barrage clears out that Void Rift. One Immortal very upset that Zagara has cleared out that Void Rift. Going to try and attack Scar, but Zagara just does not care. She is going to be moving over here now to try and deal with this. Banshee harassing a little bit. Zertul has to come back, I think, to try and help a little bit with these enemy forces. And yeah, this is, what, this is what I was talking about. Just having like a lot of spine crawlers does help. And I think there need to be a few more spore crawlers over here, but Zagara is going to be making them as well to try and deal with the trickle spawns on these void rifts. You can see how quickly this thing can be really, really bad if you do not clear these void rifts. Just a just 10 15 seconds of void rift up time and they'll spawn really nasty attack waves. Zeratul is going to jump in here and clear out this next spawn. I think there's a roach drop here that also that gets used. I think that might have been a little bit of overkill from Zagara. I think the the roach drop might have better been used on one of these void rifts, but these all these void rifts are very easily accessible and there's no enemy defenders in this area, so the road drop will be moving over here. They will get aggroed by this tornado that is stopping them from getting to where they want to be. And this road drop will end up dying as well. Zerto closes up that void rift. And now this map is void rift free. There is some. There, I think there might have been some remnants of the attack wave. Maybe a few units left here. Oh, it's only one Zot and one Dark Templar. So that those two guys are not really going to stand a chance. And now Zerto is going to be pushing into this enemy base here. And Zora has cleared out whatever spawn over there, and Zeratul uses now the Zoraya Legion to start pushing, applying a little bit of pressure to this enemy base. This next set of Void Rifts will be spawning very, very, very soon now, so Zagara is gonna have to deal with that as well. There's still 35 seconds left on the Roach Drop. I do not know the Roach Drop is necessary. I would probably try and push with Zagara right now with the Frenzy, because those Void Rifts do not need to be cleared given the pace that this game is moving, but they are played safe than sorry. First Void Rift gets closed, the second one as well is within walking distance of Zagara. We have Hunter Killers that get used, and they are going to be pushing into this Void Rift and closing that Void Rift. Now, this one can be cleared out by Zeratul. That one is a deep tunnel job for Zagara. She promptly closes that Void Rift as well. She has to deal with some of these enemy kills that have spawned here, so she will probably need to get her Hunter Killers out to try and tank the damage to make sure she does not get wiped by Amon's forces. Rouge Drop gets used over here to close that Void Rift, and now they're going to be pushing up as well, getting a little bit of nice extra value for these Rouges, and this enemy base has pretty much been cleared. Zeratul is going to be moving in here. And did Zeratul actually die? Okay, he did die a couple of times. This one ended up there, but again, one more Zoraya Legion here, and this Void Shard is going to go down, and I think, I think Zeratul might be able to get one more Void Shard with the with the rev leftover remnants of the Zoraya Legion, and yeah, I think that should be pretty much good 
to go for these commanders. And yeah. Void Ray versus Void Ray battle. There is a tornado here. I thought for I thought for some reason these tornadoes from Zerto aggroed the tornadoes of the Twister Mutator. Not really sure what I saw in the early, like at the start of the game. Someone may be able to tell me if they actually end up aggroing here. But you see here these tornadoes are aggroing these immortals. This void shard is also end up going down. And Zagara is over here. That is she's trying to end up closing these void rifts. She's on void rift handling duty. And now all that is left is one last void shard and unfortunately the Zorai Legion is gonna end up timing out but that last void shard is pretty much done and those are all the void shards cleared and that is GG.